Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to summarize the reactions of alkynes. Here we have alkyne which is acetylene or ethyne which contains carbon-carbon triple bond. In our first reaction which is hydrogenation, hydrogen is added to these two carbon-carbon atoms in presence of nickel at 250 degree centigrade or platinum or palladium at room temperature and it produces ethylene carbon carbon double bond so hydrogen is added at the both end and cis alkenes will be produced in this hydrogenation reaction and then further hydrogenation produces alkanes so here from alkyne ethane to ethene and then ethane but in case of Lindler's catalyst, which is palladium poisoned with lead, sulfur or quinoline, this reaction stops at this step. So the final step in which alkene or ethene is converted into ethane is stopped due to the, due to the poisoning of the catalyst. So we obtain the product up to alkene or we obtain from acetylene to ethene ethene and the reaction goes stops from further hydrogenation the next reaction is the reduction of alkynes and it occurs in sodium in presence of liquid ammonia to obtain liquid ammonia we have to maintain the temperature at minus 33 degree centigrade and in this case we obtain trans alkenes so but this reaction occurs when we have this type of alkynes in which there is no terminal alkyne if the terminal alkyne is present then from this we will get salt formation which we are going to discuss in the next reaction so if we don't have terminal alkyne then we will get trans so hydrogen will be added in trans form and we will get trans alkenes due, due to the reduction of this alkyne. Now if we have this type of like here we have acetylene or ethane when we are going to reduce states in presence of sodium ion and liquid ammonia at minus 33 degree centigrade it produces salt. So here like we have sodium acetylide salt or disodium acetylide salt. So in this way we get other salts like here if we are going to use silver nitrate or copper chloride in presence of ammonium hydroxide we get silver acetylide salt or copper acetylide salt. In case of silver acetylide salt we will get white precipitate along with ammonium chloride and here we get red precipitate with copper acetylide or similar if, if we have this type of acetylene then we will get disodium or disilver acetylide or dicopper acetylide so it depends on the type of or alkyne which we are going to use so this test sil silver or copper test is used to distinguish from non-terminal alkynes. If we have non-terminal alkynes then, then we will not get this salt formation. So this, this salt will be produced when we have terminal alkynes. So these are important when we are going to distinguish alkynes from non-terminal alkynes. The third, re fourth reaction is hydrohalogenation. In hydrohalogenation hydrogen bromide is used for hydrohalogenation of acetylene and in this case we will get vinyl bromide and then after this further halogenation further hydrohalogenation will produce gem dibromide so this gem dibromide is produced due to Markovnikov rule because of this Markovnikov rule bromine and bromine will attach again on the same carbon where already bromine will be present and the hydrogen will, uh, uh, will attach on the other carbon. 
if we have these are if if this is this is our symmetrical alkyne if we have unsymmetrical alkyne from the very beginning then the Markanikov rule will apply from the first step the next is halogenation halogenation is the addition of halogens so in this case we use bromine in presence of inert solvent which is carbon tetrachloride so in presence of carbon tetrachloride bromine is used and in this case bromine will be attached on both carbon like here 1 2 dibromoethane is produced and further halogenation will produce 1 1 2 2 tetrabromoethane so all these four bromines will attached and we get carbon carbon single bond which is saturated the next reaction is ozonolysis ozonolysis is the addition of ozone we will get ozonide in the first step and further hydrolysis of this ozonide will produce 1 to dicarbonyl compound here we have 1 to dicarbonyl compound and in case of we in case we have hydrogen peroxide this 1 to dicarbonyl compound will be converted into two aldehyde groups so we will get two aldehyde groups when hydrogen peroxide is used the last reaction is hydration hydration is the addition of water it this reaction occurs in presence of sulfuric acid or hydrogen ion acidic condition the temperature is raised to 100 degree centigrade and we will get vinyl alcohol we will in this case the carbon carbon double bond will be produced and the one carbon is attached with hydroxyl group and the, uh, the other carbon hydrogen will be added again here if we have unsymmetrical alkyne then Markanikov rule will be apply for this reaction for detail in Markanikov rule you will you can watch my previous video in which we summarize the reactions of alkenes uh, there we, uh, we discussed in detail that how Markanikov rule is applied and what is the Markanikov rule so here if we have unsymmetrical alkyne then Markanikov rule will be applied for the addition of hydroxyl group and where the car hydrogen will be added but in this case one carbon will get hydroxyl ion and other carbon will get hydrogen ion and this vinyl alcohol is is in tautomerization or in chemical equilibrium with the acetaldehyde or ketone group so this is the enol form where we have carbon carbon double bond and the same carbon is attached with hydroxyl group this is called enol form and this enol form in this enol form this double bond can be can get here and this hydrogen this hydrogen will attach will shift it towards this carbon and this double bond will be shifted towards this carbon and oxygen when this carbon and oxygen get double bond it will be like this so it will get it will become keto form and this hydrogen can be replaced and this hydrogen can move to this carbon so it will become ch3 so it is now ch3 c double bond o h now this is the keto form now both enol form and keto form are at chemical equilibrium with each other and the phenomena is called tautomerization and in tautomerization we will get acetaldehyde again Markanikov rule will apply for unsymmetrical alkynes so these are the reactions and summary of the alkyne reactions in our next video we will summarize the reactions of aromatic hydrocarbons or benzene ring thanks for watching